Today, we're going to do a landscape, and it's going to be a one fire landscape. This is difficult in most cases, but I'm going to show you an easy way of handling everything to be able to do a complete landscape in one fire. And I'm going to be placing in about one third of my, uh, of my tile. I'm going to be putting in my uh, sky area. Now I'm going to add a little blue to this because as you go to the apex or the top of the sky, you want to be able to get that bluish tone up there. Getting this area right down here. Now you see how I'm taking my big flat brush and I'm just putting that in. Now I don't care how I put it in. It just matters that I put it in. So I'm coming on down to where I plan on using my horizon line. Come in here with a little bit more of my light. Now, let's just call this pretty much finished at the back side of your canvas. So you've done almost half of your canvas now. Let's take the big old honking brush that we love so much and put the dark area in where the water's going to go. Uh, often there will be trees off the picture plane that will need to be, uh, that will need to, you will need to cast the shadow and that's what I'm doing right there. And we'll have a little bit of shadow that's back into here, just a small amount and a tiny bit of shadow that's back in here. I'm going to take my shadow blue and I'm going to bring my cast shadow now down from these trees that I have actually put in, which makes a perfect shadow. And I'm going to suggest a little hint of my, of my pan up here for the tops. Now these aren't actually leaves, these are stems on the tops of the aspen trees. Basically, that's your simple, simple landscape that I told you about. One fire, you fire this, hang it on the wall, and have fun. Most of all, have fun.